All right, so this is 8.5. Probability uh, that we're going to be using permutations and combinations. Um, in the last election, Miguel, Tasha, Leroy, and Juanita, and Marie, so there were one, two, three, four, five people, all voted randomly at different times. How many ways can they have voted? So we have five people, one, two, three, four, five. A lot of times there's a certain amount of people vote and I and it's reasonable. I'll put them down there. There's five times. We want to know how many people could have voted first, second, third, or fourth. So in the first spot, how many people could vote first? Out of all the people here, how many of them could vote first? Five. Five. There's five people. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Any one of these could have voted first. So once five people voted or somebody voted first, how many people can vote second? Four. Yeah, because let's say Miguel voted first. Now I only have four spots left uh, to vote second. And let's say Tasha voted second. <laughs> there are three spots to vote third, you know, and Juanita voted third, two spots. Uh, so this guy voted uh, second or last, next to last, and then there's only one spot for the last person to vote. Uh, and you multiply all these together. By the way, this is the same thing as writing five factorial if you have five people. Um, so put that in your calculator. Five times four is twenty. Uh, and twenty. You, yeah, you get one hundred and twenty when you when you do that, which is the same thing as five factorial. If you don't know what five factorial is, watch the video. <laughs> Haven't we done the factorials before, though? I don't think so. Okay, watch the video from last week, and it talks about the the factor. I thought we did them before also. But. Watch the video from last week. Factorial, five factorial means five times four times three times two times one, and it stops at one. And you can actually do that on your calculator. Let me show you really quick uh, how to do that on the calculator. On the calculator, uh, I five factorial, you hit five. Uh, where is it now? I got to find it. Is somebody going to help me? Oh, stat. No. Where is it? What are you looking Probability for? right under oh, mode. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Five. I can't see this. I'm looking at Five probability. And then you go to number three. There's the factorial symbol, the exclamation point. Hit enter. That five factorial hit enter one more, and you see how it says 120. So you go to, to do this on your calculator. You hit five, and then you go to second data, which is stat. You go to the second button and hit data which is really stat, uh, and then uh, number three. Go down to number three, and it's got the factorial on there. Hit enter, and it'll give you 120. On what? To do five factorial. If, if you don't know what that is, and I'm telling you, you didn't watch the video that you are supposed to last week. No, I watched the video. I know how to put in a factorial. I'm, I'm just. Why are you uh, using stat and data instead of angle and probability? Angle and oh, I, oh, did I? I wrote the wrong. Did I write the wrong thing? I'm yes, sorry. Prob oh, probability. I'm sorry. Why did I use second data? Oh, I. Yeah, I wrote it down wrong. I'm sorry. Let me see. Sec it's not. It should just be probability, right? Five probability. And then number three. Thank you. See, I use the TI-84 for my, my stats class, and we definitely type in things differently. And you should get, when you do that, you should get 120. 
All right. Uh, find the probability that Tasha, Tasha voted first. And okay, oh, so okay, this is this is actually a good one. Uh, oh, we we haven't. So here's five people who voted. Tasha is voting first. It says. And Leroy, there's one, two, three, four, five, and Leroy is voting last. These two are firm. They're there. So how many people do I have to pick in this spot? Three. Yeah, there's three more people. Tasha and Leroy stay there. So there's five total. Leroy and Tasha are done. I have three more people to go in that first spot. Once that person has voted, then there's only two people left for this spot. Then there's only one left for this spot. So there are only three times two times one or six different ways. How many ways can Tasha have voted first and Leroy last? There are six ways because those guys are in there. These are the only three spots that can vary in three, two, and then one. Is this the same question as the last one? Oh, now we have to have the probability. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. This this is good. The C, it kind of sounds like the same thing. <laughs> um, let me erase all this. So for B, we got six. Oh, for B, we got three, two, one. This was Tasha. This is Leroy. And we got six. Uh, how many ways can we vote? What did we get up here? 120, right? We got yeah. 120 up here. It says, find the probability that Tasha voted first. Now, up here was how many ways. We weren't asking for probabilities. We we're just asking for outcomes, how many ways. Now we're asking for probability. Anytime you do probability, it's desired outcome on top and the total on the bottom. So, the probability that Tasha first and Leroy last, the, there were six ways of doing that out of 120. Do you see the total? So six out of 120, when you divide both by six, you get one over 20. So find the probability that Tasha voted first and Leroy last is one out of 20. See, that's the decimal equivalent of 0 0.05. Probability has a fraction or a decimal equivalent. The ways, number of ways are always a whole number, right? This is probability. This is the, the whole numbers. So for probability, it's always desired divided by the total. There are a total of 120 ways to get Tasha first and Leroy last. There's only six ways of doing that. So six out of 120, which reduces to one out of 20. All right. Oh, do we really want to do D? Yes. Find the probability. So on uh, number D, D, uh, letter D, we have five different ways. We have, let's do all our people. How many, we have three females. Do you see how we have three females? Uh, it says find the probability that a female voted first and a female voted last. So we have three females that could go first. And if we're done with that, then last you have two females to pick. Um, and that's it because that's all they want to know. Um, how many ways can we uh, find the probability that a female voted uh first and oh so three ways of picking a female here uh two ways of picking a female uh, i don't think we're gonna do d <laughs> uh, find the probability that a female voted first and a female voted last uh then what do we have left oh what we have left is how many people are left to go in this spot we have two males and one female so there's three people left for this spot there's two people left for this spot, and then there's one person left for this spot. So we multiply all these together. 
3 times 3 is 9, times 2 is 18, times 2 is 36. 36 out of the total is 120. That's a tough one. I, I would never put, I would put something like B or C on the test, not D. Okay, a combination uh, for a lock consists of a sequence of four numbers. One, two, three, four. Uh, four numbers, each from 0 to 49. From 0 to 49. How many numbers are there then? Would you agree from 0 to 49 there are 50 numbers? Uh, Yes. Yes, because you got to count zero as a number, and then one through forty-nine is another forty-nine. So there are fifty numbers total. Uh, how many possible combinations can the lock have? Well, the first, oh, the combination lock consists of a sequence of four numbers, each from zero to forty-nine, and the numbers cannot repeat. That's important. They cannot repeat. In other words, there are. 50 numbers I can put in the first spot, 0 through 49. It can't repeat the number. Let's say I pick 0. I can't repeat that number. So there are only 49 numbers left here. And then there are 48 numbers because I can't repeat any of those numbers. And then there are 47. Uh, so this is the, uh, the possible outcomes. 50, 40 times 49 times 48 times 47. 50 times 49 times 48 times 47. That is a big number. Yes, but I, I want to show you. So that's why they sell so many combination locks. There are 5 million different ways of doing the combination. It's hard to open somebody else's combination then. <laughs> um, this is also called, by the way, even though it says combination, um, because the numbers, the order matters, right? When you do it, when you, by the way, when you do a combination, let's say your combination was zero, one, two, three, the order matters. You can't type in three, two, one, zero. The order matters that you do it. So order matters. Is a permutation. So uh, there are 50 numbers, and we're choosing four of them. Do you see? There are there's four spots. We're picking four numbers out of 50. Let's put this in our calculator, 50P4. So let's do permutation. Uh, it's the same thing that we just did. So you type in 50 first, and then you go to probability. And you see permutation is number one. Hit enter and type in four. That's 50 NPR four. That's the permutation. When you hit the answer, we get the same answer that we just got. This is a permutation. Five comma five two seven comma two hundred. What we just did was a permutation where the order matters. So we get the same answer using 50P4, or you could have just wrote it out like I did and multiplied it. Either way is fine. It's called a permutation when the order matters that you put the numbers in. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> one, two, three, four combinations. I don't like this one. Uh, I'm not, let's, we're not even going to do these. these not, I mean, this is the one that would be on the test. This one would not be on. Find the problem the first and last numbers of combination of lock or multiples of five. No, we're not going to do either one of these. We're not going to do either one of those. Maybe I should. I'll probably have to come back and do it. Let's do number three. 
I don't think we have to do those. Okay, lottery time. The Texas lottery is set up. Six different numbers from one through 54. You must match all six numbers. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. And how many numbers are there total? Fifty-five. That's fifty-four because it doesn't start at zero. It starts at one. You see, one through fifty-four. One, two, three, four, five. You're counting it up. The previous one was one more because we started at zero. Here, it's one through fifty-four. So there are fifty-four numbers. Okay, it's a little different because the other one we started at zero. So you had to count zero. Um, So find the probability that one winning tick that the probability that one ticket winning the jackpot. All six numbers have to be the same. Um, so so this is kind of important to understand the difference between combination and permutation. Now, let's say the numbers were one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six numbers. Uh, Let's say the numbers were one, two, three, four, five, six. If on the lottery I got six, two, if 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 I picked one, two, three, four, five, six, six, two, one, three, four, five. But when the lottery came out, they said number six, number two, number one, number three, number four, and number five. Would I win the lottery? If my ticket, if my ticket says one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I win the lottery if this is what they say? Six, two, one, three, four, five. Yes. No. Yes. No. no the order doesn't matter, right? It, it for the lottery, other than a Powerball, you know that red box. It matters there, but the order doesn't <clears throat> matter in the lottery. You pick numbers. It doesn't matter what order you pick the numbers. If you have the same numbers as the lottery commission announces. You win. It doesn't matter your order. So in this case, order does not matter because you're going to be the millionaire whether you pick one, you know, if you pick the same numbers. So if order doesn't matter, this is now a combination. So the total possible, total possible outcome, total possible outcomes are 54, 54 combination. Uh, we're picking six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see? So it's 54 combination six. So on my calculator, I'm going to type in 54 combination six. 54 probability. I guess I better turn it on first. 54 probability. Mm -hmm. And it's a combination. So that's number two. And there are six spots. We're going to pick these 54 numbers. And there are this many different ways of picking those. Two Two, five, eight. I can't see a thing. <laughs> two, five, eight. Uh, two, seven, one, six, five. Is that it? There are yeah, twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. yeah, twenty-five million different uh, combinations of of picking the winning number. So we want to find the probability this time, not just the 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 number of outcomes. We want to find the probability. Remember. Finding the, I'm going to put it down here. The probability of winning, there's only going to be one winning ticket with those numbers out of 25, 8, 2, 7, 1, 6, 5. So there's only one winning combination out of 25 million. So if everybody pays a dollar, uh, you can buy, you can pick all. 
you buy all 25 million tickets and you'll be a winner. You buy 25 million tickets for a dollar each uh, and you win and you win 10 million. Boy, you just messed up. Big time. <laughs> Uh, so the probability is the desired outcome. There's one winning ticket. There's one one way of getting those six numbers, um, and and you can get them in any order you want. And the combination is twenty out of twenty five million. Wow. Let's see what else we have. So the, the permutation and combination rule is really important. Permutation, the order, uh, combination, the order, to, the, the order does not matter. Permutation, the order matters. And I want to put that back up here. Permutation, order matters. And combination, order does not matter. A group of five females and seven uh, males. So we have five females. We'll put it over here. Five females and seven males. There are 12 people total. Uh, serve on a committee. Three members of the committee are selected to serve on the budget committee. Find the probability the subcommittee consists of three females. Okay, so they're on a committee. When I pick three females, does the order matter? No. Oh. No, because they're on a committee. It doesn't say one's the president, one's the secretary. It just says they're on a committee. So we're going to pick. It's, the order does not matter. They're all going to be on the committee. So this is a combination, and we're picking three people. We're picking three females. Uh, a group of five females and seven males serve on a committee, uh, and you're going to do a subcommittee. So three of these are going to – we're going to pick three females out of how many? Do you see out of the total? And the total is five females, not not out of 12. The, to the This is the total of all the people, but we're just picking three females. And we can't pick them out of the other ones because the other guys are male. So we're picking three out of five. So find that. And by the way, this is divided by three out of 12. Remember, this is the total possibilities. Picking three people from 12, but just the desired, just the females. The desired is the females. There's three out of five females. This is the total, three out of the total people. Remember, the bottom is the total, and the top is the desired. So we're going to put this in our calculator. Uh, so I'm going to put it in a fraction form. I'm going to start off by hitting ND. Uh, and on top, I'm hitting 5, probability, going to combination, I need to make this bigger so I can see it while I'm typing because I can't see it bending over like that. Combination, hit enter. And so five combination three. That's the top, and the bottom is twelve probability combination three. You can all right? Take, uh, so one point one over point two. Yeah, so I'm going to put that in, and 1 over 22 is the answer. Now, you can put this in your calculator, then divide it by this, and you'll get the same answer. Maybe decimal form, but you want to change it to fraction. So you should get 1 over 22 when you type this in. So I just hit fraction and then did all that work. Um, that's the only one I want to do there. I'm not worried about part B. Well, let's do let's do a part B 
I don't think, uh, hopefully we don't have anything like part B on the test, but I want to do it to show you how that works. Uh, let me do part B here. And I, maybe we'll do part C also. Okay, so two females and one male. So we're going to pick three still. And the total on the bottom is picking three from how many were there total? Twelve? Twelve. Uh, now on now we have to pick two females. Two out of the five were females. We're picking two from five. Now and one male. We're picking one from seven. So here's the females. We're picking two out of the five, and here's the males. We're only going to pick one out of the seven males that are there. Divided by the total, 3 out of 12 total. So we're going to put this into our calculation exactly as we see it. Uh, so that's not too bad, but it's, uh, it's, you got to be careful when you type it in. Hit fraction. Uh, 5, probability, C, 2. Then I'm going to hit multiply. Uh, seven. Uh, maybe I should put those in parentheses. Uh, <laughs> I I uh, I think we're okay here. I think we're okay. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put them in parentheses. Seven. Five over twenty-two. Well, let me get there. <laughs> it's probability. Seven. Uh, C. And we're only picking one. And then we're going down the bottom, 12, probability, C, 3, and I got the same thing you did. Seven, I got 7 over 22. Is yeah, that what you got? I don't think anything. Okay. 7 over 22 when you type it in. What did I do wrong? Um, you maybe you didn't hit oh, multiply. Okay, okay, okay. I put all right. I see what I got. Or you, you just you didn't you you put multiply afterwards. This had to oh, all be I on put, top. I put seven C three. Okay, yeah, seven C one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Find the probability that subcommittee consists of two females and one male. Didn't didn't we just do that one? Oh, they wanted to know how many outcomes. The outcomes, if they said outcomes, then this is just the answer. But probability, so we actually answered part C. Probability is 7 out of 22. The outcomes, if B just says the outcomes, then it's just this, this many outcomes over the total. So we're okay on this. And the question's a little weird because they don't explain it fully. Oh, is that the end of five point? Okay, okay. so I wanna do I wanna do a couple more. Don't leave yet. Hang on. Uh, I wanna just do a couple more for you. I or just two more. I wanna go to the whiteboard. Okay, so I want to show you the difference between probability, uh, between permutation and combination. So if I have uh, eight people uh, and I want to pick three for uh, president, uh, vice president, and secretary and you, you pick three, does the order matter? You know, does the order matter that I pick the people? Uh, yes. And the answer is yes. Yes, it does. Because the first person I pick is going to be the president 
of course I want to be the president. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to be any of them. <laughs> but if you, if it matters, the first person picked is the president, the second vice president, and the third is secretary. So the order does matter. The, does the order matter? And the answer is yes. If the order if the order matters, then it's a permutation. If the order matters, it's a permutation. We're picking three from eight. If I have eight people, same question, and I'm going to pick three uh, for a cleanup cleanup job that I have. I need to pick three. Does the order matter? No. That, no, because all three are going to clean up. <laughs> I didn't say anybody's in charge of the cleanup. See, the no, order does the not matter. Uh, so it's 8C3. Order does not matter means combination. So let's put both of these in our calculator and just see the, the outcomes there. Uh, 8P3 I get 336 and 8 C3 I only get 56. Do you see the difference between order does not matter and order uh, matters? Uh, there's a difference between the two, the, the, the amount. One's 8P3, the other one's 8C3. Permutation, uh, the order does matter. Yes, it does. Combination, the order does not matter. The order does not matter. Uh, and that's all I had for you today. That's 8, 4, and 8, 5. Uh, next time, we are going to cover, uh, uh, I guess, Section 9. Yes, it's 9.1.